This morning we're going to talk to Alex Martins. He's the CTO of Continuous Testing at CA Technologies. And we're going to talk about testing continuously. All right, so here's a nice easy question. What is continuous testing? Traditionally, people think about testing as something that they do uh, as an event or at, at a certain point in time. Uh, and continuous testing is really about doing that continuously from the beginning through, throughout the end. And not only as it's being used, but also as it's being built, which allows us to build quality into that product, as opposed to keep checking or inspecting for quality at a certain point in time before the users actually get that software. So it kind of sounds like almost everybody's involved in this continuous testing. It's not just QA teams, right? Absolutely. So it cannot be just QA teams, because QA teams, you work as a silo. Uh, and what we're seeing is that testers are being integrated into the agile teams. Uh, so they bring certain uh, skills that didn't exist in that team before. Tell me an example about uh, what happened when you integrated continuous testing. What did it look like before and what did it look like after? Sure, so I can think of a shipping and logistics company that we've worked with. They were really facing uh, challenges around um, bottlenecks in the testing uh, team. Um, and the way they started tackling that problem was by integrating that testing team into the Agile team, into the Scrum. They were finding that the testing time was, reduce, was being reduced tremendously, up, up to a point where they, they had applied automation across the entire pipeline, um, where they were able to not only have the functional automated tests, they were able to have uh, automated performance tests, security tests, um, as well as integrating all of that into their CI process. So you mentioned briefly automation. How do you automate test creation? Uh, when people think about test automation, usually it's about automated test execution. Uh, a lot of time, if not most of the time, is spent uh, on creating those scripts. And then after you create them, you have to maintain them as there, there are changes in the application. And that kills any automation ROI. We've come up with technology to kill all of that. Basically, we are not only creating the, the testing assets uh, that will run in an automated fashion, but we're also uh, automating the change impact analysis on those assets and, uh, and really changing the whole dynamics of testing in our industry. We've gone through a lot of stuff. How can I, as a business or enterprise, uh, begin using continuous testing? That's a great point. So uh, the first uh, step is really to map out your value stream, right? So start understanding how are your environments being provisioned today? Do you have enough environments? Uh, are, you, are they accessible? Do you have constraints that you have to remove? As you map those out, you can easily find solutions to uh, remove those constraints. Thank you for this. Uh, you have to head out to a meeting, so you better head out. But uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, John. It's great. Thank you.